hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl roxy here again today's project i'll be using this piece of box to make a beautiful side table so i'll be recycling this piece of box as you can see please recycle always remember to recycle items which are recyclable so as to keep our environment clean so i'll be using this pizza box to make a beautiful side table and also i'll be adding some more cardboards on this project to make the side table I got my inspiration from this beautiful Wayfair side table so I'll be making this version of table using the items that I have shown you. So if you're watching from Facebook click on the three buttons select open YouTube so that you can give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I started by reducing my pizza box to the size that I wanted for the sides so I'll be using three centimeters on the sides so I had to mark all around and use my exacto knife to cut the pizza box to the size that I wanted so this is the size that I want for my project it's three centimeters height so this will be perfect for my project After adding the styrofoam, I had to glue down all the corners to close down my box. Then took my cardboard, which was 17 inches long and 28 inches wide. Since I want my side table to be 20 inches long, so I had to make the base of my table to be 17 inches long or tall. So I started by dividing the cardboard into two. Since I wanted two pieces from this cardboard to make my base. After cutting the cardboard into two, I further divided the one cardboard, the, each of them at a time. So I wanted to get the middle part of this cardboard so I had to take the width to take the middle part on the width and also the middle part on the height so as to get the center point of this cardboard. So after getting the middle part of this cardboard, it will guide me in where to make my point in which will be 3.5 inches away from the center part. So this point will help me on how to draw the small curve that I'll be drawing on this cardboard. So the middle part of the curve will be 3.5 inches away from the center part of the cardboard. I'll be making two lines in the middle part of the cardboard which will give me an opening of making my side table. So it will be 3 centimeters thick. So I had to measure 3 cm thick, so it will be 1.5 cm on the other side, 1.5 cm on the other side. So as to give me the thickness that I needed for this part. So the lines will go all the way down to the middle part, not the bottom part of the cardboard. Then took my exacto knife and cut down the shape that I had made on my cardboard. So this is what I'll be using for the base of my side table. So I'll be using this mirror reflective paper and this poster board to cover my cardboard to give it a smooth finish. I normally cover the cardboard with the poster board and the mirror reflective paper 
since when you use the mirror reflective paper on the poster board it gives a smooth finish unlike pasting the mirror reflective paper on top of the cardboard the finish won't be it won't be as smooth as using the poster board I made two sheets which will be covering both sides of the cardboard and then placed it on top of the poster board put it on the poster board all round so I was placing the hot glue below the cardboard then took my exacto knife to get rid of the excess poster board on the cardboard after cutting out the excess poster board this is what I got so I'll be using this to make the base of my side table and since I want a thickness of 3 cm for the base I'll be using these cardboards to enhance the height or the thickness of my base so I used hot glue to hold together the cardboard and place them on top of the cuttings that I had made so as to enhance it to be thicker so as to get the 3 cm thickness that I want for my base. After gluing down the small cardboard, I took the other side and glued it down so as to give me the thickness that I want for this project. I made two of them so I'll be using this as my base for the side table. So I'll be covering the sides using poster board and the reflective mirror paper again to cover the openings on the sides. So this is how it looks, it gives it a finish and good look on the edges of the base. So this is how I'll be placing the base. To give me the belly bottom design that I want for my base. So the openings were to make sure the two cardboards fit into each other the way I wanted. So I'll be covering my pizza box again just the same way as I did on the base of this side table. So I'll be using these mirror tiles, I'll post the link of where I got them in my description box. So I'll be putting the mirror tiles all around my pizza box. So I'll just use hot glue to put them. I started gluing one by one but after gluing down one side I realized it will take a lot of time so I decided just to cut the mirror tiles into a longer sheet that will fit the sides perfectly. So as you can see I'll be just cutting it in a longer way and just using hot glue to fix it and also gives a perfect look and a perfect arrangement of the mirror tiles unlike arranging one at a time and you can see how beautifully my pizza box is turning out to be did the same to the base of the side table and took my mirror tiles and glued them
see how beautiful it's turning out slowly turning out to be table you can see how beautiful it has turned out you can see this is a pizza box guys it's so so beautiful let me know in the comment section what you think about this beautiful side table that you have made from a pizza box I just love how the mirror tiles and the diamond drop gives it a more beautiful glam look if you like this video, give, remember to give me a thumbs up and please please share with your families and friends. I can't believe this is a pizza box guys. See how beautiful it is. If you haven't watched how I made this beautiful vase, I'll post the link for this beautiful vase in my description box. For more DIY videos, you can check out my playlist and see how I've made some beautiful decor items. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed and click on that notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. I hope you like this video. Please, please remember to share. Thank you and see you next time for another DIY video. Thank you and bye bye.